Hi there, welcome to No Nonsense Whiskey. My name is Vim PF and today we don't have a whiskey. Now, I know a lot of you will wonder why I'm not doing a whiskey. After all, I'm called No Nonsense Whiskey. But uh, I have been known to cover other spirits in the past. In fact, I've done two gins right at the start of my kind of whiskey journey. Uh, I covered the uh, two English gins, the Lakes Gin and the Cotshorse Gin. If you're interested in either of those, you can go and check out those terrible videos from three years ago just up there. But when someone sends you a 20 year old rum, you can't really ignore it. So I went to Twitter, my Twitter feed, and I asked the question, do you want to see me do a rum? Now it turned out to be about 65, 35. So it wasn't a complete whitewash in terms of the rum, but the rum did win. So I'm gonna cover it. And unfortunately, if you're not into that, don't worry about it. I'll be resuming whiskey soon. I'm not gonna make a particular habit of covering other things. Uh, I do have some cognacs and maybe another rum sitting on the shelf somewhere, but I'm not gonna rush into it. You're not gonna see loads of rum from me. You're not gonna see loads of cognac from me. You're just gonna see bits and bobs every now and again as I'm diversifying. Let's talk about this rum itself. Now this is a 20 year old rum. It's a That's Boutique Rum Company, which you might have heard of. Uh, they have a sister company, That Boutique Whiskey Company, put out incredible stuff. I haven't covered much of their stuff on the channel because I find that independent whiskies doesn't seem to kind of have the same gravitas as the other whiskies, but I am gonna start covering them for the people that are super interested in that even if it uh, means that most people don't really want to view it. Never mind. So that boutique you rum company it comes in at a monstrous 53.7% because this is batch one. Now batch one is already sold out, unfortunately. So another reason why I probably shouldn't be covering it, but I have to cover something like this. You've got to try it. So now they're on batch two. Now the batch one was 150 pounds, which is utterly insane. Uh, I would never have spent that on a, on, a, on, a, on a rum. I would really struggle to spend that on a whiskey. But the reason why I wanted to bring this to you is because my kind of prejudices against rum have always been what I drink in this country. You know, like white rum, like Malibu, or, you know, like spiced rums, like Captain Morgan's. This is what I think rum is, you know, before I really was clued up on it. This is proper quality Caribbean rum. And this, Finally, getting onto the subject of the actual rum itself is a Coroni rum from Trinidad. Now, unfortunately, the Coroni distillery was shut down in 2002 after being sold in 2001. But in 2004, it was discovered that there was a whole warehouse full of barrels, which was then bought up and is now being sold to independent bottlers such like that boutique rum company, which is why we can get stuff like this now. Now, as I said before about batch one and two, there's only 500 bottles of batch one in existence. I've got a splash of that, of one of those bottles. Probably gonna be insane on the secondary market, never mind. Batch two is something like 1900 bottles. Same 20 year old, I think it, there's a slight increase in ABV as well, but it's a little bit more available. It, you can get it now and it's only 131 in comparison to the 150 for this. Right, let's stop talking about other stuff and let's drink some rum. now. Again, if uh, you're watching this as a rum supporter, if you're a big rum fan, I am in no way, shape or form a rum expert. If you could even remotely say I know anything about whiskey, I know next to nothing about rum other than that it exists and that some nice stuff is nice and the not so nice stuff is not so nice. Let's get onto the nose on this and see what we've got. Now, here's a really interesting thing about this, right? So rum made from sugarcane, molasses, whatever, now to my terrible, terrible nose, I think I might have fooled this for a, a bourbon in a, in a blind lineup. There's something slightly different about it. It's got some coconutty vibes about it, but it's, there's loads of vanilla in it. There's loads of almonds in it. It's super oaked as if it was like American virgin oak. It's kind of sweet and that's what's really making me think is it really a bourbon or not? That kind of thing, if I was blind tasting it. But I would go take a safe bet and I would probably have said this was kind of like a sweeter high corn bourbon. Very wrongly. Let's go onto the palate. Mm. That's that real first hit of the ABV. We've got quite high spices on there. Way more of that vanilla. Sweetness is coming through in the form of like a honey. 
And one of the resounding things is just how oaky it is. It's uh, extremely woody. Loads of that wood influence. And I'm, I really enjoy that, but I can imagine that would put a few people off. Hmm. And the finish is kind of medium long, but on the kind of slight, I don't want to say long long, because it isn't, really isn't but it's uh, a little bit more than medium to the long side. And there's just so much of that cask influence there. It's just, it's so woody. It's not over oaked in any way, shape or form. It's just like, a, you can really, really tell that oak influence is there. Now for me, that's probably one of the best rums I've tried. I can't say I've tried many. I've tried them at a festival a few times. I've never owned a bottle of rum, a proper, really nice rum like this. Definitely not owned a bottle of rum, but if this is something you want to see more of, then let me know in the comments below. And to be fair, let me know if you don't want to see it, because I'll weigh that up and see. I've got a four square rum up there, so if you want to see that, then let me know. I'll definitely cover it if you want to. But I thought this would be a really interesting thing as a whiskey drinker to be able to try this with you guys. Now, I mean, I had literally a three cilliter sample of this, so I can't really go into is it is it worth it or anything like that, because... I don't know, if you like rum, you're probably going to like this. If you hate rum, you're probably not going to like it. But that said, I've been on a three-year whiskey journey with you guys watching, and I've experienced quite a lot of whiskey in that time now. And after experiencing all of that, I've said that I quite enjoy this. Would not spend 150 quid on it, not any way, shape or form. But that said, I think I'm going to enjoy the rest of this sample. And hopefully, if you're into your rum, maybe you would enjoy it as well. It's got some kind of coconut, uh, coconut 